It was just RNG after RNG. Wait, are you the actual Atlantean or are you a random? Well, you're dead. So I suppose it doesn't matter whether you were real or a random event. Thanks for messing around in Vampire Survivors 243. Pugnala Provola will be heading back up the top to the Mad Forest for regular stages. Ooh. All right, and as with her usual with her, just in order to make sure that I can use the weapons correctly, it is not evolving into Faragi. How unfortunate. Still getting Teoji Sudu, but also Long Gun, so I can actually aim in something in a direction and hit. Which is nice, you know? Just an upgrade. And the passives will be coming up regardless. I don't really need to worry about it. Get stronger, gun. Get stronger. Fine against that, but boy, is it gonna fail eventually. So it's mad for us, shouldn't be too bad. Too bad, I say, is it will inevitably really get worse and worse and worse. I only have so many places to shoot. I have to keep moving. It starts getting crazy. I do have plenty of options for Arcana, at least. I have bouncy bullets, I have explodey bullets. I have double bullets. Brown is there to help that might go up ever higher than before. Obviously I should have grabbed Crown. Why didn't I? Get that XP going. Get that mic going. Vacuum. More crown, more. All the bullets are endless. Then the enemy doesn't stand a chance. Boy, howdy, is it going to be necessary to get all that piercing, huh? And uh, probably Heart of Fire would be your best call, right? Gives me area explosion. Especially when they're not dying in one hit and they're just skelly tans. Never a good sign. Base damage up by five. And I'm still not in red damage. Always a bad sign. Always a bad sign. Still enough shots to sort of clear it out, so. Now there's a red gun maxed out. And it's doing red damage, which is fine for now, but boy, is that not gonna scale, even if she continually scales. Mm hmm. Base damage up again. Oh no, I'm getting hit. Oh man, is that chest dropped yet? It has not. That's not a good sign. Did he just red gem and bail? Ah, oh, it's timely. This is the wave I would want it for. Oh, fully maxed out, and it didn't evolve. Here's one. Not evolving. And I did banish the evolution, so no worry about that end. I mean, whatever it's concentrated on does go down pretty quickly. Even if. There's no issues. <laughs> Speed is a no. 
Pierce though. Pierce an amount. Excellent. For what I need. Get all that Pierce an amount. I think Red Gun has more. So if I'm gonna focus on one for increasing might, it should probably be that. Well, not like I can really tell at this point. Very least, there's almost no chance of just getting the long gun. Not till I can evolve it to prototype A. And still no chess. What terrible luck. Well, I suppose whichever one has higher levels is the one more likely to have. Higher or other stuff. Pierce in the mount. I think the Pierce is actually high enough to already be hitting across the entire line, as it were. So that's good. Oh, NFT in. Timely with more zombies. Well, area would make it bigger. How about that? Whoever could have guessed that happening? That would mean I could bring the Pierce into play better. Yeah, it's already hitting the edge of the screen. That's good. You know, sheer volley of attacks is doing quite a bit. Alright, almost a 10. Uh-oh. So I go along with the gun in range. Should be... Yeah, it's decent enough to get through the big bat wave. Which is nice. Because that's a dangerous wave. Of bats. Hmm, some of the long gun shots fire at a different speed ratio. Oh wow, I cleared through all that. Yeah, I have enough chickens there, that's no issue. And there's my prototype. Hey, dive. Dive, Pugnala, dive. Okay, that definitely changes the paradigm here. Most importantly, allows me to go random always. Oh, it's so much better clearance. Just in time for Skeleton Wave. Just in time for Arcana Bat. Alright, now I have a lot of choices here. Choices, choices, decisions, decisions, thinking, thinking. Oh, that was odd. Okay, Iron Blue Will. Bouncing three times for all three of my guns. It gives me a quite a bit more area clearance. Heart of Fire was the other big contender. Oh yeah, look at how much better that is. Oh boy, oh boy. Them skelly boys don't know what hit them. Amazing. And the might is just going to keep getting higher and higher. 
half a point of might per level is pretty dang good. Wait, is it half or is that Zeacinta and she's a full point of might? Well, either way, that's why I got crown over spinach because it would eventually be better. Also, incidentally, means she's totally better than Antonio at base. If she will always be on par or better than his might increase. Still, I've had a lot of bad luck with her and less bad luck with Antonio. So there's that. Oh, right. I specifically chose her for... Wait, did I take her to Neo Galaga? I mean, I had to. It was Operation Guns. Did I not track it correctly? Oh, man. I'm not going back and redoing all that. That would literally be hundreds of dang numbers I'd have to change. Alright, clearing through big bats pretty swiftly. Even the Kinelobber to work. Surprise! Is not enduring very well. Endure it. Endure it like Midra. No Arcana. Hmm. Let's see. My damage is pretty nice. It's only going to get better. I've seen 290 hits. Pretty strong. It's really getting in that much. Perhaps I go double damage. Perhaps I go Heart of Fire. And start exploding things. This might be the perfect opportunity to test once and for all if I can actually avoid some damage. Whether it actually procs on hits. Oh no, the easiest way to do that would be to just grab it at the start of a run, hit something with it, and then quit out. You know, before I get hit. That would be intelligent. And if there's one thing my channel is not based on, it is intelligence. How many holo mems are there in holo here at the moment? Uh, 5, 11, 20, and I have no idea how many jeps, knees, ugh, yeah, That was awful. Well, I have no idea how many JPs are in at the moment because I don't know their generations as well as I do the ones that speak of my language or whatever I assimilate as my language this doki bird mint and eyes how dare you be proper and correct This, that's the most flabbergasting thing I've ever read in the entire area of any VTuber. Someone actually using the correct participation placement of lows. It is astounding considering how many, how few people at all do it these days. And yes, while it is petty, I am a very petty person. Last, wow, even the flowers are going down pretty quickly to this level of power. I mean, they're going down at all. That's generally pretty impressive. Hey, Arcana Bat. I don't know. I have four revives. More power would, more power would be helpful. Man, with the bullets bouncing. Oh, I don't see bullets don't seem to be doing the explosion like they should. Weird.
Oh, this should be smooth sailing the end. Even the mummies are going down. Uh, the werewolves and like the yellow runes. Like the only other really hardy thing left. If the mummies are going down this swiftly. They're going to keep going down swifter and swifter as I level up higher and higher. Hey, it's a candy box. Should be all good to cruise control to victory. Uh-oh. It's nice being able to record a video as a day in advance, especially because the day this is posted, I will have no time whatsoever to actually record. I get a single video recorded, that would be nice. That means the day after, it's going to be panic recording. Hopefully I can make it up. Because it would be bad if I didn't. On the other hand, I should also be three videos further into the Beswick. I'm still behind, no matter what I do. I really just wasn't expecting the power to be knocked out that bloody early. It's terrible. Terrible! Oh well, that is the fate I... Well, that was forced upon me. I certainly didn't choose it. I had a choice in the matter, I wouldn't have had my power knocked out, obviously. Am I killing all them Aludruns? Aludrun. More like Aludead. Fire for the flower. They're all burned. Cleansing flame. The heart of fire. Have I been hit? I don't think I have. Been pretty good about clearing them out. So that way the counterattack fire. Retaliation fire. I do suppose basically everything is one-worded, except max health and move speed. Even then, you can go nomenclature with HP and. Set them all on fire. Alright, just a minute left on the victory march. Just a minute left on the victory march. Well, that's... Huh? Probably not something you expect from Mad Forest to be your... Difficult point. The bats, really? Usually this is the freest end at all. Bats just get knocked back so hard by everything. I suppose these are not the best knockback weapons. Still, I can gun tornado for the best of them. Gun tornado, shoot them all. Show those bats that guns are better than bats. Take that, Batman. Run away! Oh, Spellbinder. Oh. Yeah, even with as late as it was. Wait, 421. What the heck was that? Weird. Yeah, Prototype A did all everything. Hmm, maybe the Heart of Fire damage is added into the gun itself. That would make some sense, because boy howdy did Fyodor Tefalo outbeat Ate the Sparrow badly. Too badly. Also, the, the really shouldn't be capitalized, but... Oh well. Agnala done! Who's next? Alright, time for the second round in the library, Giovanna Grana. Will she actually get past a minute? I doubt it.
Okay, that didn't explode in our face. That's always a good sign. Da -da. Make it last longer. Forever the Bible. Yeah, these all three weapons I'm grabbing are ones that would get the benefit of all three of the stat increases, speed, duration, and area. I'm not picking them up anyway because they're the Arcanas that boost them anyway because... Yeah. Anyway, she's gonna flirt around on her broom. Randomly get Fire Breath from random events and get a ton of XP off of that. Anyway, like I said, all three of these weapons get the benefit of all three of the boost in Arcana. Duration, to make them last longer. Speed, so they go faster, hit more. And area, so they hit more because they're bigger. I'm not grabbing that. Because why would I, when she is so frail and weak? Sure, the cats are fun. If you know you can build them correctly. Which is going to be difficult. Still. It's in the library. And she's already failed multiple times. So not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. Also not a good sign is I really should be double checking to make sure that she hasn't done this. Yes, she has not. That's still stare, which kind of looks similar. Oh, right, they're going to eat the chickens that are necessary in order to not die. Oh, they're also not evolving, so they'll be cats forever. Yay, cats. Well, at least I don't have to worry about Mama Man here. Dang. I was hoping for the early evolve. Well, Silver Wind will heal it up. Off cat. Off endless cat. And the ever increasing speed does help out. If slowly. Ouch, cat fight's doing so much, huh? Really, what you should do with Legionnaire to make sure her divine bloodline so you always make sure you have low health, right? Get hit by cats. Yeah, what a coincidence, they're all concentrating on her. Yeah, I'm safe enough that I probably don't want too many levels so I can hold out for getting evolution chests ASAP. Since I have. On Holy Vespers, right? More cat. Well, I can't evolve cat. Is really making sure I have Silver Winds beefed up. Can level up cat. Can level up cat. The uh, the King Bible. Man, what the heck is going on? They were not as rowdy as they've been here. Like this is crazy. I didn't suddenly get a giant luck boost somewhere. Never seen them get this fighty this fast. They aren't even that level. Yeah, they're only level two. That's crazy, cat. Crazy. Uh oh, what hit her? Any more chickens? No, they've eaten them all. At least I'll get these chickens. 75. Hmm. Well, Pomerola. Boosting the recovery on that. 7.30. Don't get that big red gem. It's going to be big and red. And way too many levels. Perfectly time to grab it after I get my Unholy Vespers, though. 
You know, I don't think I've ever done King Bible with Boone, huh? Ah, alas, he is not in contention. And also, NetherRealm Studios is being sodded off because WB is self-destructing because the CEO is a moron who wants money. Gonna get a golden parachute despite driving that business into the ground. Power and connections, that's the way of the world. So who knows where Mortal Kombat's gonna end up at. Unbelievable. So many cats everywhere. In fact, so many cats, it's actually dead to rental. Well, once I free up with festive winds, it'll be better since I can, you know, heal. Since I'm stuck here. Oh, I guess I could candy box two turbo and do. Here we go. Oh, holy Vesper's right. Well, at least it's two third chance, so. Area, might, area. Area. I shouldn't want its area to be too big, because I don't want it overtaking Silver Wind. I do want to heal off Silver Wind. I'm getting very little of, huh? Well, still, there is some. Not a particularly great amount, but... Yay, let's fix that with Festive Winds, and I can go random always. Yay, random always! Hmm. I actually probably want Sarah Bondi to help compensate for the cat damage. Cat damage, cat in your face, doing cat damage. That's what I get for trying to look up the cat-eyed circlet. Did I die to cats or did I die to something else? Looks like I died to cats. Jeez. Well, I was going awake anyway. It shouldn't be much trouble. But man, all I was trying to do was look up what did the cat damage in Symphony of the Night. Which is like just the Salem Witch and like maybe the Wear Panther. Or the item, the cat eye circlet. If only there was a cat eye circlet here. Convert that cat damage to healing. It would be the most niche item in the entire game. Man, why is it greed mass that has vicious hunger? when I'm moving, I don't have to worry about cats eating her face off. Yeah, decent amount of speed. Well, it could be better. Could be better. Yeah, boss is not surviving much. It must have been the cat damage. Even through Sarabonda healing. Yeah, that's nutty, jeez still for just a few seconds. Well, at least it goes up back fast when you're at three. Still, that was how many cats just concentrated around her. No, oh, don't eat my chickens. What? 
Why are you not doing any damage all of a sudden? This is so bizarre. The amount of weapons I actually get the benefit of all of speed, area, and duration is somewhat limited. Like Rune Tracer, these two kind of Santa water. They're not a whole heck of a lot else. I suppose Jadora does, but like duration really doesn't matter for that and speed doesn't matter for mirage robe it doesn't shouldn't affect it uh, what else well cats cats obviously gets the benefit of all three that was the whole point of grabbing these two and then room tracer and not a whole lot else. A lot of things just don't get any duration benefit. The bus saw goes faster and faster. Oh, maybe I got starbursted. I have been realizing it. Yep, that damage shut off like a rocket ship. And that mage, a mage, mage, got maged. I don't even mean to go early Atlantis, it's just sort of happening. As I meander about, you can tell because I'm going to the ones on the right instead of the left, like I would normally do. I think 100% of the time, in fact, it's been that consistent. Oh, there's one Atlantean down. I should be done with her already. An error after error. And you know, procrastination. That's always nice. Procrastinate. Crossed wires. Took down the Atlantean in no time. Managed to unholy Vespers and festive winds combined. Now to the other Atlanteans. Ah, the sweet embrace of sleep. Only I knew thee. Reroll, reroll, reroll. They see me rerolling. Mmm, awaken, Giovanna Grana. Faster than ever before. Wait, it's 20% speed. And it's not just base positive, it's enormous positive, geez. Especially as it'll level up. I should not be talking about Holoc here while I'm playing Vampire Survivors. I should not be talking about Vampire Survivors while I'm playing Holoc here. But clearly during both I should talk about Starship Troopers Extermination. Man, wild. It's been a couple weeks and I still can't believe I actually got to play with Johnny Rico. But hey, your dreams are attainable. If I can do something like that, and then you, the sky's the limit for people with actual skill and class. All I have is durability. Endure! Endure! Well, we'll see even durability and just more of the ability to grind out like a monster. 
As long as there's some semblance of progress, it's all good. Now, sheer RNG grinding. That bores me. It's even one point on a 100,000 point scale I can do it. God, have I done it. It's not a hard call. Uh, Raven Holt. I was just screaming into the void with randomness. It's annoying. Which is, you know, probably why I never got the Platinum in Dark Souls 3. It was just RNG after RNG. Wait, are you the actual Atlantean or are you a ram? Well, you're dead. So I suppose it doesn't matter whether you were real or a random event. I didn't go up top, so you were probably a random event. Well, no, it does matter if you were a random event or not. Wow. Because that means I can go punch another one. City of Lantian, come here. Are you real or were you fake? Were you s double real? Huh, what happened there? Oh, this turned out surprisingly well. Oh, is that another rosary? Yeah, decent enough level. 171 speed. Everything's a buzz sawing. Not quite 100 kills, but... You know, it's about... 73,635 more than 100. Wow, the cats indeed scratched. It's time to get duration. Papina, Pecorina, Dairy Plant. Not bad at all. But wait, what's this? Lost and found painting instead. This will have no downsides whatsoever, clearly. Da, da, da. Oh, Empty Tomb is more important right now. Room Tracer is very helpful. Yep, we're going for three weapons that have a whole lot of stuff. Going on when they do duration. Unfortunately, that means we're not getting their evolutions. Because you saw that Taronis box, hopefully. Empty tomb, save us. Save us all. Oh, and even without Silent Old Sanctuary. It's still frying out pretty dang quickly, huh? Mm, probably one of the few things you could try to avoid Silent Old Sanctuary on. Get enough duration, and it'll bounce around enough. Still, that will be the second Archon I pick up. Does make sure to get as many on screen as possible. All time, all time. And I don't need to worry about evolutions, which is a nice change of pace. Song of Mana. Spread your delucidous tones everywhere. Well, I got on parallel the vertical coverage. Gives me some horizontal coverage. Then the others will do what they need to do. Spellbinder, obviously, first. So I can keep that duration going. So it never stops. Well, the lizard man's cans gets ends. The other ones are much less likely to, because they are weak and frail. Merman gets beaten by lizard man, and Torona's box to make it even better. That is indeed why I got Torona's box to make it even better. Get all the duration I can. Oh wow! 
That was super lucky there. It's actually something I could use. As much duration as I can muster as fast as possible. Plus it increases the damage, nice. And a little bit of area on top of it. Hey, it's banishing time. You're not getting me today, Toronas Box. You're not getting me today. Will this be enough for the final wave, which requires excruciating amounts of DPS to survive? No. But we will do our best. Hopefully just barely eke out a win because of Wake. Wake really will be what saves it. And that and hopefully an absolute ton of Santa Water Puddles. Like, so many stacked up on top of each other. To an absurd degree. Oh, well, I am not getting area much at all. So that means that I will have to go selecting my limit breaks for the whole thing. Devious. Ooh, bone tower. Oh man, they're already getting in this because I'm going off every which way from Sunday. There's really just two ways. Area, area. Santa Water is going to be the big hit here. Though, obviously, if something comes up with duration, that's the priority. Get all the duration I can. Let me should go grab one of those other... Oh, there's only the one vacuum warp, huh? Now, if I sit, I will just concentrate enough Santa water that I'm not going to be in any real danger. Then we'll get to the bigger, more threatening enemies. The ones that will eminently end the run. Boy, those crabs are getting in way closer than they should. Well, this looks like it's going to end very poorly. Well, the boss is getting pushed back. That's nice. That is nice indeed. Alright. We'll just load up on protection.
Oi. I sure didn't talk for a while there. Not even a good reason to. Just words are hard. We're hard. No, I just did something else. Look, I'm 200 plus videos into this. I'm running out of commentary as it is. I need a break. I need a break. Like a Kit Kat bar. Hmm, I haven't had a Kit Kat in a while. Maybe I'll go get one if I go for food. All right, come on, Big Rod Jam. Where you at? I'm out plus one is good. Duration. Duration. That was not as big or as red as I was hoping for. Yeah, there's got to be a huge red gem around here somewhere. It just doesn't want to show up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why did I not get the Santa water area? That is the most vile one. Song of Mana is definitely the loser in this contention. Santa water is the most important, then Rune Tracer, and then Song of Mana, well, duration is more important. Gotta keep it going. Santa water is the most important, and yet I'm not getting it. And there it finally is my nice big red gem. Boy, having the microphone in front of my eyeball is a thing. This is going to give me a headache. Why am I like this? Hey, look, now it's not in front of my eyeball. Well, you can't really look, but I totally promise I was inexplicably putting one of my eyes behind it. Oopsie. And water is more important for our duration. And it's going to be so many Santa waters on the ground. All right, that was my big level up storm. See, I've got a chicken. No, I got some chickens. That's nice. Strangely placed. Almost like I got a vent, but I don't remember grabbing any. Boy, it was a good thing that when I was looking away from the screen, there were no starbursts or anything. Or this boss showing up. Well, that's not a good sign. Well, no, I can heal up just off my natural regen and let the chickens go for the final wave because, oh boy, is that going to end poorly. And that boss is a good barometer to how I'm doing in not well. Not well. Did I get hit by something? What could have gotten in through all this nonsense? Can't get shooted. Out through this level of stuff. Yeah, my DPS outside the burning blue is not so. Add you to the enemies. Yes, I totally planned that. Okay, that boss is much weaker than the Triton. Which I remember because Triton is not exact. Well, it's a somewhat of an uncommon term, which is probably why it's stuck in my mind. Alright, plan get my health back up with natural regen is working. 19 minutes in. Yeah, that figures. 
But wait. That can happen. Bye bye, Reaper Man. <laughs> Revenge is mine at last, you insufferable smarm. Also, level ups. Probably would want to save these for much later. You know, make sure the final waves aren't as dangerous as they could be. Even though apparently they don't actually have HP times level, they just have a ton of HP by default. Yep. If it's just one, it's not a problem. But it's not just one, it's literally screen fallen. Yeah, that's gonna end poorly for me at the end. Did I turn off cups again? Huh. When did that happen? Uh, let me find this chest just so it's not on the map and confusing me. Or overshadowing chickens. There's three chickens here. There could have been four, but no. Stalker had to show up. Like always. And because Stalker didn't just show up on the stage, wow, I made a bad call trying to do something else. Oh no. Oh, well, Santa Water is doing 100 a hit. That's pretty good. Oh, an Orologian. That's very helpful. And there's my awake. Well, that's a bad sign. Save me, Aura Logan. You're going to be my only hope for that 29 minute hell rush. Robots, robots everywhere. And more chickens. One, two, three, four, five chickens. That's nice. No, wait, there's more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chickens. That's really good. Still won't be enough. To be relying heavily on that Orologi in there. Perhaps even more if more show up. Ah, relying on sheer luck to win. Now that's real skill in action. Sure, someone could constantly get better. But at the end, it's all RNG in for the Black Knight Halberd. Now there's probably a very deep, in-depth reason why the Halberd is... Or was, I don't know, I don't keep up with speedrunning. The speedrun weapon, besides just the damage or the moveset or whatever. Is it because it's easier to upgrade? Because Twinkling Titanite? I don't know. It's been so long since I played... Dark Souls 1. And I don't particularly remember where a lot of the upgrade materials are. That's a conversation for another time or something like that. And a rosary and an NFT. Okay, I've got a decent little fork going up. Whole bunch of chickens. An Orologan and a rosary. That might be enough to get through that final death wave. And while it's frozen, I can go out, find a red gem, and proc all my stuff. Get a ton of level ups. Quite a lot of rune tracers on screen at the moment. Obviously, nothing directly above or below is getting in. Oh, really? Did I get right over the NFT? Dang, nap it! I'm a rabbit.
Oh, they're getting knocked back good and plenty. So they're not a threat. That's a 28 minute wave. It's all on the robot. It's all on the robot. And this NFT is lasting forever because I got a ton of duration. That's nice. Well, time to see if Orologians are really benefited by duration. Hmm, I did not grab it. Oh, huh, that's odd. They are not gaining as much as I thought. My damage really just high. Huh, maybe I won't have to pop them. That's a nice change of pace for Dairy Plant. I guess the inverse is just pumping them so out of control. Neato. And Rune Tracer of all things does the most, just because it was out of bounds for so long. Wait, no, that's a completely different Arcana. Three more down on the Beswick. 479 for Pugnala. 480 for Giovanna, and 481 for Papia. No real issues other than cats still being annoying, but hey, they're cats. What do you expect? Anyway, down to that way, and it's 1,451 more to go. Next up's going to be Conchetta, Mortacio, and Cavello. Then Rombo, Soul, and Amber Joe. Oh boy, so close, so close to way four. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Thank you anyone who has liked, disliked, commented, or subscribed. Your support keeps the channel going. I hope you please do so if you haven't. Either way, have a good day and keep messing around with the Vampire Survivors Beswick.